Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use some custom brushes in Affinity Designer. Um, I'm gonna get these brushes from Creative Fabrica and I'll link to all of that for you. But mainly what you use the brushes for are to create um, textures and depth to your design. So let's hop over to Affinity Designer and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so I've got Affinity pulled up. This is kind of like the welcome screen when you open up Affinity Designer. Now this is not an in-depth tutorial, that's not what this is meant to be, but I will tell you what I'm doing as I'm going along just in case you're kind of new and you're not really familiar with everything that Affinity Designer has. Okay, so I'm gonna click New Document here. And I'm going to create my document. Um, there's a lot of presets. You can do print, press, photo. I mean, there's so, 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 so much that Affinity Designer is used for. I'm just gonna create my own. I'm gonna come over here to the side. I'm gonna change this from inches to pixels. There we go. And I'm gonna make this 2000 by 2000 pixels. So it's just a, a pretty square. It's gonna be a good size if you are transferring this design out to a PNG to put on t-shirts or whatever you're doing. That's just a good standard size to start with. And I've got it set to 400 DPI, so it's gonna be super high quality. And now I'll just hit create. Okay, so I've got my blank document here. Um, I'm just going to put some very basic shapes onto it so that we can see how these brushes are going to work. Okay, so here I am. I've got my rectangle. I've selected that and I have just drawn a basic square out onto the screen. Now I've got to come back over here and hit my selector tool if I want to move this around. If I try to do something else, I'm just going to draw more squares. So selector tool and now I can move this square around. Okay, I'm gonna change its color so that you can really see what we're gonna be doing. In fact, let me make this bigger as well. Okay, and you can see I now have it perfectly centered as well. It's got the lines on there for me. Um, let's turn it like pink. So I've clicked over here in the pinkish area of my color wheel and I'm just going to drag until I find the right pink for me. Okay, so let's just start here. All right. Now, the first brush I'm gonna show you is a fur brush. Like it's gonna create a fur look, like um, leopard or cheetah or whatever you, know, you would want that's kind of furry. Um, let me show you a design I've created with it first and then I'll show you how it works. Okay, so I'm gonna just size this up really large. Do you see this background here for the Happy Easter? This is a thing that I have created with the fur brushes. I'll show you one more. I also did this kind of tie-dye look with the fur brushes. Okay, so let's just get over to these brushes. The one thing about Affinity is that there are different sides. What you can do in one side, you can't do in the other. What I mean, we are right now in what they call the designer persona. We can't get the kind of brushes that we want in this persona. There are brushes, they're different, don't worry about that. You need to switch over here to the pixel persona to get these kind of brushes that we're talking about. Okay, now I know my screen doesn't look any different, when I switch between the two, but my access to brushes are different and I have different tools over here. Let me go back to designer. You see I have the pencil, the paintbrush, and I have like this place tool and my shapes and text. When I come into the pixel persona, I now have a different kind of paintbrush, um, the paint tool, the smudge tool, just different tools over here that you're gonna do different things with. Okay. So, if you come over here to brushes, you're going to see that there's a bunch of different ones here. Some of these came with Affinity Designer when I purchased it. Some I have added myself. The one I'm going to show you today, the brushes, I added myself. It is called Realistic Fur, 
by Elder Zakirov, maybe, I don't know. Um, and I'll show you where to get that over in Creative Fabrica, and I'll show you how to install it um, when we get towards the end of the video. So I'm just going to click on it. And you see all these different little lines here, and you can scroll down, and there's just tons and tons of them, and they all look different. I'm going to pick um, this little one for now. Now that I've got the brush selected, I need to tell it what tool to use. I want it to use the paintbrush. And so do you see this circle that just showed up on my screen? If I start moving this circle around, I'm going to get hair fur looking stuff. Okay, I'm going to hit the backspace because I want to change some stuff up there a little bit. So I don't want it to be black. Right now it's got this stroke. All of your brushes are going to be done with a stroke. This stroke is black. Let's change it to like a, a bluish. That'll look nice on this pink. Okay, and also I want that fur to be bigger. That was kind of small fur for my liking. So I can come over here and I can change the width. It's at 200 pixels. Let's bump it to somewhere around 315. Now um, my little circle went away. That's okay. I'm just going to click my brush again. Okay, now my brush is bigger and my brush is blue. Let's move it around. Okay, there we go. All right, backspace, let's pick a different kind of fur. So come to brushes. Let's come pick a bigger fur. Let's pick this one. And the brush size went back. I need to make it bigger. All right, let's see how this looks. That's not, oh, look at this. Okay. That's cool. Let's, let's layer another color on top of that. Let's layer um, like a yellow. Let's see here. That's a good yellow. Okay, and just kind of put this in here like this. You see, that's so awesome. This brush set is amazing and I really love it. Um, okay, let's see. Did you notice how my brush is only going within my square? That's because I have selected the square before I started using the brush. If I do something different, let me just delete that, everything that I started. I'm going to come back over here to my selector tool, and I'm going to click off of the square so it is not selected. When I select it, it's got the blue outline around it, and it's blue over here. If I click off, there is no blue outline, and it is not blue over here. It is not selected. Now, if I take my um, fur and I move it around, it's going to go all over the page and not just within my square. If I only want it within the object that I'm working on, you make sure that your object is selected. My square is selected now and you put it back on and it will only be in that object. Let's um, put another type of fur on top of that one. Let's put maybe a little fur. Like let's look at this guy and let's make him like um, a green. All right, what's this guy? Oh, that's tiny. It's so tiny you can hardly see it. If I run over it over and over and over again in the same spot, then you can see it. That's a little fur. Okay, so that's the fur brush. Now I want to show you a different one. So I'm going to delete this. I'm actually even going to delete the square. I'm going to pull in a different design that I've used this other brush on. And it's a texture. It adds like depth and texture to a design. I have to switch back over to the designer persona to pull in a picture to show you. Okay, this might be a little hard to see. Let's see here. Let me blow that up as large as I can. Okay, do you see the basketball back here? Do you see how it has these bumps on it like an actual basketball would? 
I have done that with another brush that I got from Creative Fabrica. And again, stick with me to the end and I'm gonna give you a link to these brushes and show you how to install them in Affinity Designer. Okay, so let's pull in, go back to our, um, well, first let's get a shape. We need to use the, the designer persona to get our shape. So I've got a circle now and let's make it orange like that basketball. Uh, that is not a good orange. None of these are good oranges. That's a little more like a basketball. All right, now we'll hop over to the pixel persona and back to our brushes. We do not need these realistic fur brushes anymore. Now, um, <laughs> there's already one in here called textures and I, added a new one called texture um, but this is where textures this is where I got those ones that are going to give the ball its kind of feeling so here is my orange circle it is highlighted let's just click the first texture up here and we need to change its color so if I did it right now it would be green <laughs> I don't want my basketball to have green bumpies on it you want this one to be just a hair darker than whatever your first color is. So my first color is this orange. <clears throat> I'm going to take the selector tool and just drag it over here to orange so that it turns the exact same color as what I've got on the screen to begin with. And now I'm going to take my stroke and click it and it will turn that color orange. Okay. If I drug my selector tool to a different color, it would have turned like, oh, let me put something else on here. Just to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, if I, okay, if I turn this pink, I drag my selector tool to the pink and that is now pink. And I click the pink here now. So I've got this selected and I click pink. It will turn pink. Drag this to orange with this selected, click it, and it turns orange. So whatever color you have your selector tool, you can turn your stroke. I'm gonna delete this pink box now, whoop, and orange, okay. I hope this is making sense. I know that um, Affinity Designer is a little hard to understand and this is not a full tutorial, but I do just wanna give you these little things to get you along with what I'm doing. Okay. So I've got it the exact same color orange as my circle, but we want it a little bit darker. So I'm going to take my, um, my color wheel over here. I'm going to click on this box and just drag it a smidgy bit darker. And, and we don't want it much. It's probably not even noticeable on here. But when we start putting in the texture, you'll see the difference. Okay, so brushes. We've got that one. Let's get our paintbrush over here. Okay, do you see this circle? That's huge. Let's make it a little bit smaller. All right, that's a lot smaller. Okay, so I'm just gonna start throwing it in. Do you see the texture that it just added? That's probably too much. Um, I might actually wanna make this bigger and just kinda go slow around. So you can add a lot of texture in that way as well. And there are a bunch of different textures here. It doesn't just have to be like that basketball texture. Let's see here. Let's try this one. That's tiny, tiny. I don't want it that small. Okay, let's see what we've got going here. That's a finer line. I'm going to change the color of this just so that you can see um, really what we're working with. And this is not something that you would want to add to the design. And let me blow this up. You'll see the texture that we're working with here. It's a phenomenal texture. Let's get a different brush. Let's see. Let's see what this one's going to do. Hold on now. <laughs> These brushes are huge when you first bring them in. Look, 1683 pixels. We need it around like 300. They're huge when you first bring them in. Okay, 
select the paintbrush again. Let's go ahead and change its color. Let's make it green so you can really see all the layers that we're putting in. Okay, now let's blow that up. So what these are, they're just little circles, but the way that they lay out in each stroke is different and they add amazing texture to designs. There's that one, that's how big it is. And here's this one. And some of these are hollow or some of these are more transparent than others. But both of these are just really good tools that you can use to make all kinds of amazing designs in Affinity Designer. Okay, let me go to Creative Fabrica, show you where I got the tools and then how to um, install them in Affinity Designer. Okay, so here I am at Creative Fabrica and I'm gonna link to this. Um, if you get the all access subscription, which you can try out for free, you can get 10 downloads for free. Um, you can try all of these brushes out for free. And then it, it'll renew at $9 a month, I think. It's like $9.99. Um, but they've got a deal going on right now where if you buy a whole year, it's like $4.99 a month. Great stuff. Look into it. I'll put links in for everything. But you can try these for free. You don't have to pay for these. Okay, so um, let's look at all the kind of brushes. So just type Affinity Brushes. Click Enter. And lo and behold, you're going to come up with all of these brushes. There are ink brushes. There are um, fractal dust. Here's the fur that we're going to get. Um, these are the um, stipple ones that I was telling you that add the texture. That's the other one that I got. You can get splashes. You can do a lot of really fun, like all the grunge 90s type stuff that's really cool right now. These splashes are going to be great for that kind of stuff. Um, just all kinds of stuff that you can get here. But you do absolutely need to make sure when you type in brushes, like we put in affinity brushes, but it's going to pull up other brushes too. Or it's going to pull up Photoshop brushes and brushes that work with other design software, you have to make sure that it's going to work with Affinity Designer. So to know if it does or not, you can look at some of them have it on the front. Like this right here is the Affinity Designer logo. It's right here as well. Let's see. Let me click into this, um, this one here and see if it has Affinity brushes. You're going to need to read about the product. 17 different fractal dust Photoshop stamp brushes for Photoshop. Okay, so no, that's that's not going to work for Affinity. Let's hit the back button. Let's take a look at these. High quality resolution brush set for designers and artists suitable for Photoshop, Photoshop elements, Affinity. Okay, so now, yes, this will work with Affinity. That might be something I want to download. So anyways, you you know what? I will download this so that I can show you how to install it. Okay, so you download what you want. And you can see down here it's downloading, and it's going to go to my downloads file on my computer, and I'm going to have to go pull it off of there and install it, but I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so here is my download folder. I'll just double click into this. Here are the brushes. Double click to open the zip file. And this is what I want. I need this Affinity Designer element right here. So just drag it over here onto my desktop. It's called Splashes, okay? Hop back over into Affinity. And I will click this little hamburger icon over here to the side of the brushes, not the one next to the brush that's selected. You can see I've got this brush selected right now. I can come back in here and pick different brushes. You want to come to the one that's at the top here. This little icon. Click it. Import brushes. Click that. Go down and find your brush. I put it on the desktop. What do they call it? Splatter? Splashes? Double click. It's doing its thing. Brushes imported successfully. Let's try them out. Okay, so I'm going to come over here. 
Splashes, there they are, yay. Okay. Whoa, <laughs> look at that guy. It's so big though. Put it to 300. Let's change its color, let's make it pink. Ah, come here, pink. There we go. So I'm just doing like a lot of clicks. Okay, let's see, what else do we have? Oh, these look like they're gonna drip. Okay, hold on, let me delete everything I've got on here right now. Okay, let's try these dripping ones. That's so big. 300. I'm excited for this. Oh yeah, it's like dripping paint. Okay, all right. Let's see, ooh, this looks cool. I wanna change its color. I'm just playing with these now. This is a new, oh, yes. I'm excited. Okay, again, too big. I'm gonna make this one maybe 500. <laughs> I love it. Oh my God, these are great. I am so glad I installed this, guys. Go get this brush. I'm gonna design so much with this now. All right, that's all I have for you. We'll see you next time.